Here is my Hatchet's Endgame pre-DLC build, you barbarian bastards. After testing most active skills and stances, I finally figured out the best possible method to maximize effectiveness of Hatchet's. Strong attack from high stance is your best asset. Next to that we have also Piercing Hurl, a long range attack for Hatchets that can be utilized to great effectiveness with this build. These are the only two moves that we're gonna use, Piercing Hurl and Strong Attack from High Stance. Strong Attack from High Stance works amazing after dodge because it covers a little bit of distance and it hurts a lot. It is such a good move that you'll hardly find anything that can match it in its simplicity and damage output. Problem with this whole move, I mean dodge plus strong attack is that it requires a lot of key, so I had to play around that problem. Anyway, this is what I came up with. Courage is our primary stat. We can specialize hatchets to scale off of courage. Courage increases key recovery and that is exactly what we need to offset key usage problem and key recovery problem when combining dodge and heavy attack from high stance. Heart and constitution are highly important stats as well. I've tempered with my main weapon to scale off of constitution as well, so this is our secondary stat. Heart should be at around 40 or 50 points depending on what level you are at. Couple of points into stamina and strength are needed to be able to wear King of Set and also put at least 20 points in Dexterity and at least 30 points into Magic. Hatchets I have opted for are Urn Splitter Hatchets which are part of Onishibata set. I'm also using Smirk Wiper Blade and these two weapons combined give us 3 piece bonus for Onishibata set which gives us almost 250 additional life and reduced damage taken during attacks. Having a good defensive setup with this build is important because when we use all a blaze instead of X buffs, we do increase damage, we have faster movement speed, but we also take increased damage. That is why Onishibata bonuses work very well with Hatchet's build. Special effects on your hatchets should be attack bonus constitution, high attack key consumption reduction and all ablaze duration. Other than that go for whatever you want. As for ranged weapons just have warrior of the west bow to get increased life and other than that whatever you wish. As I've already mentioned Kingo set is the one that we need. Kingo offers really nice bonuses especially for backstab damage and we are gonna do a lot of backstab attacks because of the nature how this build plays out. Whenever we dodge and use strong attack from high stance there is high probability that it's going to do backstab damage. That is why Kingo's set works very well. Additional melee key damage inflicted is also very nice boost. There isn't anything very specifically important for special effects on armor pieces, so go for whatever you wish. Through soul matching you can get attack on every single armor piece, you can also get life the same way. Do it if you can be arsed grinding for it. Honestly it doesn't make or break anything, it just gives you a little bit of buff and that's it. I have personally never done it on any of my builds, but it is a nice additional boost if you want it. Yasakani Smagatama is a must have accessory. It should have melee damage versus poison enemy, life recovery through Amrita absorption and also poison accumulation increase. Rest of the buffs can be whatever you want. Another one that I went with is shoot and dodge is because the play added through Amrita absorption and I've also tempered for same bonuses here. Here's my quick bar setup. Poison Shurhen, Weakness Talisman, Slot Talisman, although Slot is optional, if you want go for it, if not you don't have to. You can use Cold Trops instead. Second quick bar should have any kind of elemental talisman depending on the situation, extraction talisman and protection. You can also go for rejuvenation if you want or life leech or whatever. Third quick bar should have elemental stop talismans and if you want quick change scroll. Tengen is our primary guardian spirit because of stance based Amrita bonus. 
we're gonna apply two stance based bonuses whenever we fight that is from high stance and from low stance increased key recovery speed is essential because we're gonna use a lot of dodge as i mentioned earlier soul cores for this build are shoot and dodgy soul core because of the increased defense through amrita absorption this really helps in increasing survivability and also we can't use Kasha here because Kasha's movement speed increase does not stack with all a blaze which also offers increased movement speed secondary soul core is Yatsu no Kami because of melee damage increase versus poisoned enemy third one can be whatever you want secondary guardian spirit should be Shinroku because of life drain from strong attack and also increased anima gain when performing strong attacks both mystic cards for this hatchet build work very well I'll leave that choice to you. Next to that we need Piercing Hurl from High Stance and also All Ablaze from right side of Hatchet's Tree. After that you definitely want to take Relentless Blue Node upgrades which increase your maximum key. Rest of the points can be put into other Blue Nodes and into Hatchet Melee Mastery that increases attack for Hatchets. Araki is probably the best clan choice for this build because it increases backstab damage. Another good option is Honda because of active skill damage increase but we can only have that boost when using piercing hurl, we can't get that boost when using normal strong attack. So that's why I think Araki is the best choice for this build. Here is how to play this build. First we buff ourselves with protection, extraction, rejuvenation if you have it apply elemental talisman best for the situation and then use all a blaze buff when the battle starts debuff the enemy with poison sure hands and weakness if you want slot as well and then hit an enemy from low stance to get that increased key recovery then we switch to high stance and do strong attack or piercing hurl depending on the distance if we are far away from the enemy, use Piercing Hurl. If you are close to the enemy, use Dodge plus Strong Attack. Or just Strong Attack if Dodge is not necessary. If fight lasts longer, then you're gonna have to eventually switch back to low stance just to hit an enemy once to get that increased key recovery back, after which we switch back to high stance and continue with the same tactic. Anyway, that's all for this video. Very simple yet very effective Hatchet's Endgame build. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.